Hey everybody, Kurt with Simple Tech Dad. I'm here with another quick review, this time not of PowerBricks. You may see that I have the EcoFlow Trail 3 and an Anchor desk charger, but that's not what this is about. Today, it's about wires, USB cables specifically. Why? Because quality matters. So USB comes in multiple flavors. I have three here that I want to show and show you how it works. So um, the story goes, I was using this cable here to charge a laptop and it just was not charging. I switched to this laptop and it actually charged up and it made me realize, huh, these cables look identical, but you don't know what the deal is inside of them. So let's go ahead and find out real quick. So the first one up here is this white braided no-name cable. I'm going to show you what happens when I plug this in. So this is going to send power to this unit. They're both rated for 140 watts out and in. And this cable is going to hold at 56 watts. So what that tells me is this is a 60 watt cable. So the cable, the thickness, somewhere in here, the systems know, hey, don't exceed 60 watts because this cable can't handle it. Probably would, you know, cause it to get really hot and you don't want that. But it's very interesting to see because it's going to take 34 minutes to charge up with this cable. So I want you to remember that 34 minutes. So we'll get this one out of the way. We'll jump over here to this Jackery cable. Now this Jackery cable did come with a smaller battery pack that I have. Go ahead and plug that in. And what you're going to see is because this one is meant for a little more, it's going to jump over the 60 watt and it's going to hold right about 95 watts. So what does that tell you? That tells you it's a 100 watt cable. Now, both of these cables say nothing about anything. This one's a little bit thicker, but you know, you, you wouldn't know. Um, this one's 95 watts though. So you can see it went to 20 minutes, much difference. All right, so now this is an EcoFlow 240 watt cable that I bought on Amazon for this test because I wanted to have things charging up faster, to be honest with you. What you're going to see here is it's going to start climbing. You got 60, 70, watch this, 90, boom. It's going to start jumping up to 140 watts. We flip the screen here. You can see it's holding at 134. Look at that speed, 14 minutes. So the first one said 30 some minutes, then 20 minutes. Now with just switching the cable, 14 minutes. Huge difference. It's pulling 134 watts, or it's pushing 132 watts, 134 watts. It's pulling 130 here. Big difference. So quality matters. And what I wanted to show you is there are all different kinds of USB cables. So pay attention what you have. If you're just charging an iPhone, no big deal. These cables will work just fine because it's 60 watts. Your phones are going to pull 20. Your iPad will pull 30. So you're fine with all of that. But you start trying to power a laptop with it, the laptop's just going to slow down because it can't handle and, you know, that wire is not going to handle pushing that much power through. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, please, as always, like and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.